What will happen to your prostate? If you masturbate a lot. Let's be honest. Most guys do it. But the real question is, what actually happens to your prostate if you masturbate a lot? Does it damage it? Can it cause prostate cancer? Or could it actually be good for you? Today we're breaking down the science in a way that makes sense, no judgment, just facts. And by the end of this video, you'll understand how your prostate works, what masturbation really does to it, and whether doing it too much is helping or hurting your health. Let's start from the inside out. Your prostate is a small gland that sits just below your bladder. It's about the size of a walnut and wraps around your urethra, which is the tube that carries urine and semen out of your body. Only men have a prostate. And even though you can't see or feel it from the outside, it plays a huge role in reproduction. Its job is to make fluid. That fluid mixes with sperm to create semen, the stuff that carries your genes when you ejaculate. So every time you release, your prostate is doing part of the work. It's not just sitting there quietly, it's active. It's pumping out important fluid that protects and nourishes your sperm. Now that you know what the prostate does, let's look at what happens when you use it a lot. Masturbation or any form of ejaculation stimulates the prostate. When you climax, the muscles around your prostate contract to push out the fluid and semen. That's normal. That's how your body is designed. Now, some people worry that too much stimulation could wear the prostate out, damage it, or increase the risk of disease. But actually, the opposite might be true. One of the biggest studies on this topic came from Harvard University. They followed over 30,000 men for almost 20 years, and they found that men who ejaculated at least 21 times a month had a lower risk of developing prostate cancer, especially compared to men who ejaculated only four to seven times a month. That's a big difference. Scientists believe that regular ejaculation helps clear out the prostate. It may flush away potentially harmful substances, reduce inflammation, and keep the gland functioning properly. So in many ways, using it might be better than letting it sit idle. Masturbation can also help relieve stress. And that matters because chronic stress increases inflammation in the body, including in the prostate. Now, just because something is good in moderation doesn't mean more is always better. Masturbating a lot, and we mean excessively, like multiple times a day, every single day without control, might cause some temporary issues. First, pelvic discomfort. Too much stimulation without enough rest can irritate the muscles around your prostate and pelvis. This might feel like a dull ache or pressure, sometimes mistaken for prostate problems. Second, inflammation or pain. In rare cases, some men experience inflammation of the prostate, known as prostatitis. While masturbation doesn't cause it directly, overdoing it might aggravate symptoms if you already have a sensitive or inflamed prostate. Third, fatigue and hormone imbalance. Excessive ejaculation can, for some men, temporarily lower energy levels, especially if they're not getting enough sleep or nutrients. It's not dangerous, but it can throw you off balance if it becomes compulsive. But keep in mind, these effects are usually temporary. They're not permanent damage. And for most healthy men, masturbating regularly, even daily, doesn't cause harm to the prostate. Let's look at the flip side. What happens if you rarely or never ejaculate? Some men go weeks or months without any ejaculation, either by choice or lifestyle. Well, your prostate keeps producing fluid whether you use it or not. If that fluid doesn't get released, it can build up. This might lead to swelling or pressure, mild discomfort, or a higher risk of infection or inflammation. Some experts believe that a buildup of stagnant fluid in the prostate could make it more vulnerable to bacterial growth or other issues. That's why even men who are not sexually active are sometimes encouraged to ejaculate occasionally to keep the system clean and active. As men get older, the prostate naturally grows. This is called benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH. It's not cancer, but it can cause urinary problems like difficulty starting to pee, weak flow, or waking up often at night to urinate. Some men worry that masturbation causes this, but there's no scientific proof that regular ejaculation leads to prostate enlargement. In fact, staying sexually active may help reduce the discomfort linked to BPH, though it won't stop the gland from growing as part of normal aging. Now let's ask the big question. Can masturbation prevent prostate cancer? This is still being studied. 
but here's what we know. Regular ejaculation, whether through masturbation or sex, is associated with a lower risk of prostate cancer. That doesn't mean it prevents it 100%, but the numbers are strong enough to suggest a link. Remember the Harvard study? Men who ejaculated more frequently had a 20 to 30% lower risk of prostate cancer. That's a powerful reason to stay sexually active, in whatever way works for you. If you're asking what happens if I masturbate a lot, it's also worth checking in with yourself. Are you doing it for pleasure, stress relief, and health? Or are you doing it compulsively, out of boredom or anxiety? Excessive masturbation, especially when combined with porn addiction, can lead to low motivation, depression, poor focus, trouble with real-life relationships, and desensitization, meaning you need more stimulation to feel the same. These issues don't come from the prostate, but they affect your overall well-being, and that includes your reproductive health. If you feel out of control, it might help to take a break, reset, and speak to someone if needed. Let's break it down simply. Masturbating regularly, even a few times a week or more, is not bad for your prostate. In fact, it might protect it. It helps keep fluids moving, flush out toxins, reduce the risk of certain problems, lower stress, and support overall sexual health. But balance is the key. If you feel sore, tired, or obsessed, take a step back, give your body and mind space to rest, and if you're over 40, make sure to get regular prostate checkups. It's quick, it's easy, and it can save your life. So no, masturbating a lot does not damage your prostate. For many men, it's part of a healthy lifestyle. Just don't forget the rest of your health too, your sleep, your food, your exercise, and your relationships. Your body works best when everything works together from the inside out. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more real health info. Explained simply. See you in the next one.